Hi YouTube friends, Brad of Silver Lining Daydream. So super excited because we're going to start a new RV series, RV Makeover Monday. And every Monday we're going to try to upload a video concerning our RV renovation. Sometimes it might be some of the small things, but also some of the big things as well. And so we're super excited. And by the way, our channel is also about money saving home improvement DIYs, short term renting our home on Airbnb, and also short term renting our RV on RV Share and more. So yeah, let's get right into this. I'm super excited. All right, so today we're gonna to install an RV grab handle using a non-sag vertical sealant. This one is made by Alpha Systems. This will be my first time using one of these non-sag caulks. And a little later on in our video, we're gonna backstory in a cursed shower rod hack we did a while back. Not sure if this is gonna work. I don't have any mineral spirits. Okay, it's helping. At least it's cleaning it. It's helping a little bit. Sort of. Maybe not. I'll just keep plugging away at this. That should be good enough. You can see this old one has a little bit of this black seal tape. So I think I'll pull this off. Here's a new one. We can try to reuse it. I don't see why we can't. going to be like new. I'm going to say it's going to be like new because this handle was on the inside and I took that off. It wasn't real dirty but a little bit and I just cleaned it up and then I put a brand new one on the inside of the RV. So I'm not really sure how to do this. I'm just going to kind of use what makes sense here. Thicker than like a silicone caulking. This might be too much but All right, so that's what we got going here. And here's the screws. So I think we'll just start one through there. Whoop, should have put the screw in first. It's already starting to dry. All right. Got some flies. Whoop. Okay, now that we got them both started, I think we'll go in kind of evenly go in. This is the same as the old one, but it has a little more give. I wish I had something that I could just hand tighten it. I don't want to go in too much, but I want it tight. This tool is just a wet finger. Yeah, I got a little too much. That's all right. Ah! Okay, so I would use a whole lot less and just add caulk. Yeah, this is kind of the hard way. I guess it won't be leaking though. There's probably a better way to do this. Feel free to leave a comment below if you've done this before. I probably should have watched some YouTube videos. But, uh, you know, oh well. You might want to have some mineral spirits handy when you do this. We're actually camping, so I don't have anything but that Goo Gone stuff. That'll tighten up when it dries. I'll clean that up here. Some of that Goo be gone. All right, that's helping. I think you just go real light with the um, caulk, and then you just add a thin bead on the outside. But when I look at these, they're like caked with this caulking. Just to compare it, I think if I had to do this all over again, then the next time I do something on the exterior of the RV, I think I'll just dry fit it, and then I'll put tape around it. You know, just leave a small gap for the caulk, mm -hmm. and uh, that way I won't have all the mess. And I'll also have some mineral spirits handy. The cure time on this is about a week. It's already starting to kind of harden up, so the handle doesn't move as much. So after a week, I'm sure that handle's gonna be on there spot on.
Hi. Do you want me to just put the curtain rod on or do you want to put on some sort of new hangers? I saw some other hangers in the RV. Okay. I'll put them back on. Thank you. Okay. Love you. Yes, I'm videoing you right now.